For the benefit of those who are new to Moto and poly modeling for that matter, I want to go over a few basic concepts that I feel will help you uh, as you progress through this series. I also wanted to look at a few potential road hazards that may trip you up as you build out your 3D models. So let's take a look first at uh, geometry types. For the most part, we're going to be working with three different geometry types. One is a, a poly or face level geometry. The other is subdivision surfaces. And finally, we'll be working with curves. Now curves, we'll go into later. For the most part, I want to deal with two geometry types, poly faces and subdivision surfaces. However, I want to really look more closely at subdivision surfaces first. So at its core, Moto is a poly modeler with subdivision surface capabilities. What is a subdivision surface, you ask? Good question. It's simply an algorithm that subdivides and smooths the surfaces of a polygon or group of polygons so that their curved surfaces appear smoother and less faceted. In other words, it interpolates and adds additional virtual polygons between the polygons you created and interprets a smooth curved transition between them. Now, if we go to the properties panel and go to surfaces, you'll notice that there are two types of subdivision surfaces. There's a standard subdivision surface and there's also the Catmull Clark type of subdivision surface. And though they're very similar in the way they look, uh, there are some subtle differences that we'll get into a little later. To convert your model to a subdivision surface model, you simply have to hit the tab key or the shift tab key, depending upon which version of subdivision surfaces you want. The tab key will toggle on and off standard subdivisions, whereas the shift tab will toggle on and off Catmull Clarks. As I mentioned a moment ago, the uh, two subdivision surfaces are very, very similar. However, let's just take a quick look at how they actually differ from one another. Now in this example, I have three sides of a cube and you'll notice that right off the bat, you'll see that Moto only shows uh, one side of any given polygon. In order to show the inside of the polygon, which is really for the most part invisible to us, uh, we would have to go into the shading mode, select the uh, shader that is applied to that object. In this case, it would be the base shader and go down to the bottom here and click on double sided. Now I can see both sides of this cube. Okay, so uh, if I want to convert this to a subdivision surface, I simply hit the tab key. And you'll notice right off the bat, it rounded everything off. And you can see, you can actually see the additional polygons in the facets that uh, it creates around the edges. So um, if I want to hit the tab key, I can convert it back to a face model face polygons only. Now if I hit the shift tab, watch what happens. By default, uh, Catmull Clark keeps the open edges of uh, polygons uh, very sharp, very straight and sharp. So this is one key difference between the two types of subdivision surfaces. So let's go to here and we can see, uh, go to its uh, parameters, surface parameters. Now both subdivision surfaces allow you to change the subdivision level, both on the rendering and on the, uh, in the OpenGL viewport. So if I'm in Catmull Clark here and I want to change the subdivision level, I simply go to this parameter right here and say change it to four. Now you don't want to really ratchet that up too high because what will happen is it will really slow down your performance. If I'm in standard, let's go to standard face mode here and uh, go into a standard subdivision surface, hit the subdivision level there, hit four, hit return, and it does the same thing. 
but it keeps the corners rounded. Now let's go back to Camel Clark. Now remember, in order to toggle between the two, I have to go back to face mode. I can't just jump from subdivision surface to Catmull Clark's. So I have to go back into face mode. Then I'll hit shift tab and that will put me in Catmull Clark mode. Now I can, using the boundary rules here, uh, change this to a smooth all and that will make it look more like uh, a standard subdivision surface if you like, but, uh, it, but it's totally up to you. Now, for the most part, I will be working in Catmull Clark type of subdivision surfaces for this series of videos. Um, I actually prefer it. It's a little bit faster and more responsive when it comes to uh, performance in OpenGL. And it's just one, a newer technology in general.